Chefs cause she's a treat Ooh, she's so bougie bougie Won't never take What up guys? Alright, so All my stuff have come in Through Amazon that I ordered If you guys want to see everything And the price and everything It will be in my Amazon haul Which will be down below I'm not going to go through all the pricing Because one, I don't remember what the prices are And in that video I put the prices in and give you more of a view of what they look like. But right now we just gonna install. So as you guys know, in the last clip, I ran out of um, peeling stick. So that is what we're gonna start off with today. I'll bring my fan to the bathroom because it'd be hot. It's hot up here. The difference between downstairs and upstairs is night and day. I'm gonna re wipe down the sink and everything but I just peeled off everything here so we're gonna start all over again um, but before we do that I'm going to wipe it down which is what you should do I'm gonna wipe it down the sink area and start again I did one section of the sink I'm gonna just show you guys. The only thing I'm a little mad about, I do a little tear in it, so it's not that that noticeable, like like it is. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can find a way to fix that. But other than that, it looks really good. I actually like it better than the other peeling stick. So this is what it looks like so far. So there's a lot of air bubbles in here, but honestly, who's really gonna notice that when they're brushing their teeth? Um, that is because of the residue from under the sink, like these little stupid things right here. Somehow, like when I was trying to peel and stick, the stick will take whatever was under the sink part back out. So, nothing I could have really done about that, but honestly, it's more noticeable on camera than it is in person. And again, we're really going to be paying attention to air bubbles, like really. But this is the tear that I'm talking about. When I was trying to put this under the sink, it ended up ripping. So I'm going to see if I can make a, a hair piece and put it right over it. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. So now I'm going to do the next side right here. I'm going to leave the middle. And the middle part will be the easiest because I don't have to go all the way down. I just have to get it underneath the sink. And that's it. Honestly, guys, the best way to do this, if you have like somebody handy around or or you can do it yourself I could do it this my I could do it myself as well it's not rocket science you pretty much can see the areas under the sink that need to be removed to take the sink out but I wasn't about to do that I'm not about that life right now but if you really want a just more easier concept the only reason why it was so easy for, for me to do it is because I can actually lift my sink out a little bit when they installed it, they didn't do a good job of sealing it to the sink, so that helped me a lot. Now, if it was done properly and I couldn't lift the sink out, it would have been a huge issue. But because I could literally lift my sink up, you guys seen? I think you guys seen, right? I can literally lift my sink up, and then I just pushed everything underneath to put it back down. So <laughs> that saved me. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do the other side right now. I'm going to see if I can get a good angle so you guys can see what I'm doing. section by section at first and all these tools I got from the dollar store so you don't need to be going all out I just find it easier to use the roll it helps guide me better it seems good all right so here's my trick now I lift the sink up 
I have a feeling the camera might drop this time, but I just lift the sink up and shove it under there. Okay, so I got one section under there. Whew, let's sink it light, guys. And the good thing with this, you can re-pull off, pull it back on, take it off, put it on, put it off. It doesn't lose its stickiness, I like that. Okay. All right, so I messed up a little bit. I wanted more to be. Whew. Just, just move that for a second. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys where I messed up. I don't want to move the camera just yet because I got it in the perfect position for you guys to see me right now. So we're just gonna do this in the meantime. Air bubbles out. Now I seen a method where people just popped it, just put holes where the bubbles were and did it that way. So you get it to the point where you can't push the air pockets out anywhere. That's another option. So I tried to line up the pattern as good as I could. It doesn't look too, too bad again, unless you're really trying to criticize my work. You're not really gonna see it. But um, it looks pretty decent. Um, the only thing is I was trying to make this thick enough. I guess I could maybe if I somehow need this stick on top of each other and I could oh no but oh I didn't cut this long enough guys damn diggity damn so right here I didn't do it over enough so it would actually be it actually stop right here. But I want to try and use all of this piece right here. Let me show you guys better. So yeah. This whole time I thought I was recording. Okay, so again, so this is the piece I'm talking about. I even know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, so I underestimated this part. You see over here, it goes all the way up here and kind of missed shot how long the piece was going to be. And I only wanted this much left for the sink, but because I didn't cut this part properly when I was putting it under the sink, um, I the part's gonna be a little bit different. Now I would have to either cut this as straight as I possibly can so I can line it up for the next stick, or I can try and salvage it, which I think I can. Let's look at that. You're not gonna really notice the difference. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so not too bad. It actually blended pretty well. Um, the only part I'm having a lot of issues with is the corners. I'm gonna have to like find a way to make it look a little bit more neater. But again, when you look from here, all that matters. It looks pretty clean. All right, so I just have to do this section here and then this section here and we're done. I am done. Well, the sink, anyways. I'm actually gonna do the backsplash tonight, and then that's it. I'm done for the night, and then I'll continue tomorrow because I got work in the morning. But for my first try using this stuff, I'm not surprised. Yes. Look who wants to wake up now. I'm done now. Look at that. Now you can see how yellow the sink actually is now with the backsplash with the um, peel and stick granite. But it is what it is. That's the color it's going to be. Um, but yeah, not bad for my first DIY with this stuff. It is very hard, especially in the corners. But.
Okay, so depending on the domestic tile, we'll determine on if I'm gonna do this tonight. If it's an easy fit, then I'll do it. If not, we're gonna have to continue this journey tomorrow. You guys can see my backsplash, it's not that big, which is beautiful. This will not take a long time at all. So, let's see. I only get six in here. Okay, so again, if you want to know more about this, check the link below for my Amazon haul. So the cool thing is, it tells you where to overlap. That's pretty cool. Um, but it is not a perfect fit. So close. So I'm going to actually put it here. It's so close. So close. So close, guys. But it's not a big deal after. So I think I can do this tonight. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I can already see the transformation already. So excited. Let's see. Let's see that. See this? here and that it's gonna be weird I might have to cut a piece off because that's how it's gonna end it's gonna end like this I wish they had an end piece that would have been nice that would have been helpful I don't so yeah I'm gonna have to like cut that piece so this will be my starting piece so I'm gonna have to like um, put it over enough where I can just cut it straight down to make it even. But first, before we do that, I wanna see if this fits. So that's one. corners <laughs> so I'm gonna have to do these two like so and do another two over here and then I'm gonna have to just or do this line it up in the corner one I'd cut it off right and then the last one I would cut it off that's better that works no I just want to make sure before I start peeling and sticking it But when it sticks, it sticks, guys. To the corner as possible. That's right. I forgot about that part. This thing is so hard. This part down here is not thin enough.
I see how much time I did this, right? And see how sticky it is still. Okay. Putting it straight. Okay. I need the counter space to do this, so when I'm done, I'll be back. Okay, so that's it for now. I ended up taking off the plastic. So tomorrow I'm going to finish this up, got to put a little piece over there and then cut it and then I got to cover these spaces. The good thing is I only use four and six comes in the pack so I have enough to at least, well I could at least use one whole strip to even do the top parts and um, yeah, that's pretty cool. And the good thing about it is too, they're squares, I can cut them all out and just paste them at the top however I want and then use this last piece and then cut it so super excited how it's coming out guys super excited now we have to do something about this part here because you didn't come all the way over so I might put an extra piece inside there maybe See if that works. I don't know. Put a piece inside there and then cut off the extra piece. Or just end up cutting these off and then painting here gray. And I never said it was going to be perfect or professional. It's just going to look better than it did before, right? So that's it. I am tired. It's what, midnight now, I think? Is it midnight? Nope, it's 11 15. So I'm going to go into my bed because I have work tomorrow. This lash is coming. needs to be secured. Yeah, so I have work in the morning. So I'm going to go get some sleep. And then tomorrow we're going, we are going to hopefully finish the bathroom. I don't have much things left to do other than the backsplash and the light fixture and the shelving. The shelving might be last though because the shelves that I got, if you guys watched my haul, shelves not going to cut it. I might use one of the shelves and put it by the medicine cabinet. The shelving I might save for when I'm doing my living room because that's more of a living room shelving. When I was looking at them, at the shelves, they look like they were the same width as my bathroom shelf. So I was like, perfect, I can have some floating shelves in my bathroom. but. I was mistaken or I'm just going to find a black shelf because I think the the silver gray look I don't think it's gonna cut it I think with it being black will look a lot better let me show you guys it's a little messy right now so I think if I change this to black it looks a little bit more clinic-y <laughs> now that everything is getting put into the bathroom it looks a little bit more clinic-y so I think I'm gonna find something that's black and put it in here and I need to order this piece in black as well. I got the black cover, but I don't think it's gonna look good with a black cover and this is white. So I didn't know that they sold this in black. I found it the other day and now I can't find it on Amazon. So I'm gonna have to keep looking and I wanna change this to black as well as the cover. Um, I gotta do the light fixture and I got the cover this. So that's perfect. But yeah. Everything is coming together slowly, and um, once it's done, we will do the reveal of the bathroom. So, yeah, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow when we finish the backsplash. Hey guys! Okay, so don't mind the beat. I actually just finished filming a video, and um, my foundation is lighter than I am because I now have a tan. I think she didn't something was up when um, I put it, the concealer on my hand, and yeah. That's what it looks like, but I don't have any darker tone 
concealer or foundation right now because I have not been to the mall because the malls have been closed and they just recently opened and I'm still not in the mood to go to the mall. So, it is what it is. But I just filmed this look. It should be up already actually. So, go check it out. It's actually from a makeup company by the name of South Home Beauty. Um, they reached out to me to promote their, um, their brand. So that's what I did. And also you guys can get 30% off using my discount code, which is MissKirby30. So go check them out. I will put their link to their email or to their website down below as well as their Instagram. So yeah, the reason why I didn't mention it earlier on in the video is because I just got the product in the mail and I was able to get a minute to record a video for them as well as for myself and as well as for you guys so yeah yeah but don't mind the discoloration of my skin tone right now anywho we're going back to the bathroom keep turning off the damn lights okay so i ended up finishing the bathroom with the backsplash so i ended up just cutting out the tops on my own so the extra pieces i just cut out the little pieces that I need and put them all along the top. Um, and then I cut it here, but then I realized, cause that's where the backsplash ends. It ends right here. But then I realized the sink goes all the way out here. Why didn't they make this backsplash continue to go? So I'm telling you, laziness, okay? Laziness of renters sometimes. Um, so um, I didn't think of it until after that I should have made the towels go out further. So I said, you know what, let me just stick some on the wall and see how that looks. <laughs> let me know if it looks okay, guys. I think it looks fine because of the pattern. You can't really tell. It does, well, you can tell a little bit, but it's not that bad. So I'm actually going to leave it as is. Now, for the other parts. Now, like here, I'm just going to get my gray paint and paint along the top to cover the white parts that are showing but guys look at the sink i did such a great job i think i did a really good job what do you guys think quick new look for under I gotta remember the prices again. Now that I'm done, done. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, so you guys see in the corners here, it says overlap here, overlap here. I'm actually gonna cut, I have one little piece left. I'm gonna just cut out some tiles and stick them over those parts and that's it, that'd be done, so. But other than that, you guys see, my little folding shelf over there. I'm just gonna get the caulking right now. Okay, so I don't know where I left off because I thought this thing was recording this whole time until I just noticed the camera turned off. But right now I'm in the middle of putting in the caulking. gap was bigger so that side I needed it more than anything else because it was a bigger gap over here than there is over here there's like really no gap over here so we'll just leave it like that because I don't want to mess it up because I did it such a good job already I don't want to ruin it so the sink is done ladies and gentlemen so this is the finish look of the sink. I am very, very proud of it. It's a shame that this is so yellow. It's kind of killing it for me, but this is not my place to go old demolition on it. It's a rental unit, but for now it looks nice. Just got to finish that patch job right there and cover those um, overlap here sections. And we still got to do the light and the outlet and this switch cover. And we got to find more stuff for the floating shelves. Okay. That is it for today. I still got to do those other things. I'm going to put in a light switch right now, actually. But the lighting, 
the girl ain't doing that by herself so i need to find someone that can that is comfortable doing it and knows what they're doing because i'm not trying to have no one die in my house from an execution and i'll see you guys when i do find somebody um and hopefully by then i'll have everything else like the shelving and um the new bathroom shelves and everything so hopefully the next time you guys see me in that bathroom it's the last thing to do and it'll be wrapped up